I'm Mars. I'm Ash. I'm Everly. This is my brother, Atlas. And this is my dog, Biru. We started our journey in 2016 on a 48-state road trip. In 2017, we bought our self-converted van, Edison, and have been full-time van lifers ever since. We're excited you found us in this corner of the internet. We hope our videos will be helpful and inspire you to chase your own adventure. This week, we are leaving our 18-acre property in Salida, Colorado, where we've spent the majority of 2020. We'll be heading to Miami, Florida to kick off a two-month tour with Hydrofacial. It's a long drive with a few bumps. Last night, I was on the floor super sick. It's in the water. Oh, I don't know why. Empty. It's sad. But there's no one I'd rather do it with than this crazy crew. Yes! All right, we are here in Salida, Colorado. We have been full-time van lifers for three and a half years. We bought property, 18 acres, in Salida, Colorado, August of 2019. And we have been sheltering in place here pretty much, you know, most of 2020. We are heading south for the winter this year. We've done winters in the van, um, and they're just not our favorite. So we are going to be winterizing our property, but we are heading south, heading to Miami tonight. Um, next time we're back here on the property, it will be spring. We've built a tool shed. We've worked on this 1969 camper, and we've built this awesome little one-room uh, recording studio. Mars is a musician, and a recording is something that he loves to do, and so Part of our creative retreat is to have a recording studio for artists to come and make music and feel inspired. It's been really fun and it's been really grounding to be home and have a place to, you know, really start building our dream retreat. We will be breaking ground on a tiny A-frame here this winter and so when we come back in the spring, we'll get to do all the interior details, just making it, you know, our style, which we're really excited about. Um, but let me take you on over to go check out what Mars is doing on the One Room Studio. So here's our One Room Studio. What are you putting on it, Mars? Uh, it's just like a water, wind, ice, snow barrier. I don't know exactly what Because winter's it. like coming. MS-300 leak barrier. Um, yeah, winter's coming like Monday. I think like seven or eight inches of snow. So we pushed it to the end, that's for sure. Why my dad is working on the roof. Let's go check out our land. Follow me. All right, I'm following you. This place is the, the camper. Want to come inside? This is our bathroom. And the, on this side is where lots of books are. And on this side, this is my little guy that died yesterday. He was um, a roly poly and he died. He used to be black, somehow we turned white. Come on, let's go check out the garden now. And if you ever come to our land, make sure that you, you have your shoes on. Hey, here's the garden. Oh, and right on this circle, we're going to build a like, little greenhouse. Take you over to where we're gonna build our tiny A. Let's go! It's not built yet. Next time we're here, there'll be a little A frame being built right there. We have our roof on the studio. We have our camper wrapped up, covered for the winter. We have the van packed for you know the next few months and we're ready to hit the road. Right, Evs? <coughs> Atlas, what do you think? I don't know if he's ready. We'll have to wait and see, huh?
Well, we drove until the wind was too rough last night and parked at a rest area. And now we are in right outside of Raton, New Mexico and heading, keep heading that way. Not very often do I say that it was windy enough to maybe possibly do some real damage, but it was. Or so blow us over. That's what, that's what I mean. And so we, I stopped for the night because I was like, screw that. Good morning, Atlas. Hey, Archie. Do you want some? Do you want some? Yummy. You go back in, Chrissy. Many miles before we see. dump station dumping our toilet in our gray water. Yeah, at the Welcome Center they have a free dump station and free potable water so we are getting everything all set so that this week we'll have a nice uh, empty empty toilet and fresh water. It'll be set up for success. Yeah. There's a whole bunch all like as you go through out here. Uh, okay. These little picnic areas all have them. So oh and, and you're sure it's fresh water? I mean, they wouldn't offer non-potable water at a picnic area. That's, That's true. Kind of... Good boy. It's super bummer. They turned the water off. Oh. Why? They don't want us to have any water. Or maybe they Ooh. shut it off for the season. Is it because of COVID? Maybe. Yeah. Back to finding a solution. We can go to Walmart. If they have the water. Onward. Empty. It's sad. We're taking a much needed break from this five day road trip and uh, going to this place in Pensacola called Flounders. It's like our third time eating here. He's literally taking a piss. I told you I had to go to the bathroom. Oh, okay, well, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're taking a much needed break, like I said, um, here in Pensacola, Florida, on our way down to Miami. Let's see, we started the drive on Friday. So we did Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Today is Monday. Tomorrow is the last day, and we will get there. So, yeah, like a four and a half day drive pretty long but I'm amazed at how well Atlas has been doing when we started out on the road with him in January he was um, it was, Difficult to say it the was least. 
torture. It was torture trying to drive with him because he screamed like anytime you put him in his car seat, anytime we went to the grocery store, anywhere. I was like, this kid's never gonna be able to travel. And I just hopefully will bring hope to some people because he hasn't cried. He hasn't cried like once on this whole trip. So that's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Like he hasn't cried. I don't know if I should be like knocking on wood, like. But I'm so excited because he's driving in the work truck and I'm usually in here with the kids and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is, this is rough for me. So I'm really excited about that, but it's still a very long drive and so I'm excited to stop and get some food. Oh, you food. need this? Now it's time to go to the beach for a little. You want to go to the beach today? We're going to be at the beach for a long time. Tomorrow? He is so happy to be out of the van, aren't you? I thought he didn't like being in his car. I think he's just excited to be out of the van. Oh, it's bright. It's our last long drive day before we get to Miami. I feel like crap. Last night I was on the floor super sick. That's one thing I've never been in the van is sick. And um, it just sucked. Like there was nowhere to go. We're in Florida so it's hot. <laughs> I just like laid down on the floor and Mars threw me a pillow and I was just like throwing up sick. I think that place we went to last night, I got sushi. Um, that was a bad choice. Anyway, so now we are about to hit the road. Everly went with Mars in the work truck to keep him company, and then I moved Atlas's seat up to the front because that way if he starts crying, I'm right there, and we should be in Miami by this evening. I'm ready to get there and just enjoy being in one place for a week or so. Okay, stopped to Nurse Atlas, filled up the tank. We have like five and a half hours left to go until we get to Miami. So tired, I'm ready to get there. It's been a very, very long drive. Road trip tip to anybody listening. Just take your time. If you can, take your time. Whenever you have to book a long drive, you're like, oh, this sounds so great. We'll get there faster, and then once we're there, we'll really be able to enjoy it. I just wouldn't do that. I would not do that if you don't have to. Because then you just miss the journey by trying to get there faster. Depending on how long the drive is. Yeah, if it's like a day drive, okay, book it, get there faster, that's great. I survived, and now we're back on the road. Ready, buddy? Let's do it. Lay Suites here in Miami. I have to find out exactly which one it is. But there's a side road where you can park big vehicles, and this would be the perfect place to stealth camp. So I'm just gonna leave a little note here for you guys. You can stealth camp here for sure because I say for sure. I haven't been here overnight yet, but this whole street is completely dead. The only people parking here are people that are staying at the hotel, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, there's like box trucks and vans and everything on the street. And we've been to Florida and it's really difficult to van life in, at least from my experience. Um, this would be a great little spot to know about. Feel free to use it. <laughs> so, after five days of driving, we have made it to Miami, Florida. It is so hot. Let's see what the temperature is outside. It is 90 degrees. <laughs> and we are so tired. We found ourselves a special little treat. We're going to stay in a hotel. We're staying ourselves in a hotel because I was throwing up on the floor last night. 
I am exhausted. Days of driving. We deserve, we deserve to have our own beds, which we kind of have in the van, but this will give Everly her own space, our own big bed to stretch out in, and this place allows dogs, so what is it? Town Place Suites allows dogs! Five things I like about hotels are that there's breakfast, that there's healthy beds, and that the rooms are pretty and white, and that, I, that they allow dogs, and that I get my own bed. We are going to enjoy the crap out of this. Do you look like me? Uh. <laughs> you bumped my head. You so whenever you drive with your kid for five days, they turn into delirious little monkeys that laugh a lot. So we're going to go enjoy some much needed R&R &R in this hotel and um, regroup for the, weeks, be funny. for the weeks to come here in Florida.